Say something about giving me a break. We haven't done this, but for every give me a break, we should do it in the future. All that we're doing is, the, is my favorite zero tolerance policies that I have no tolerance for. What that means is, what each thing I don't have any tolerance for. First thing I don't have tolerance with, I have no tolerance for vandalism. Destruction is school property. Destroying everything in the store. The reason why that is because people destroy everything in the school. And that's vandalism. Bathrooms. Everything with bathrooms, they take your feet. Graffiti is vandalism. If you can destroy school parking, you're going to be in serious trouble. don't tolerate this kind of vandalism. Graffiti, destruction of school property, I don't tolerate any type of vandalism. Like this article here, police charge 14 year old with Catholic school vandalism. Arrested him one day and charged him with burglary, criminal trespassing, and criminal mischief. And it was not been released due to his age. Next, I'll start. Next, I do not have tolerance. I have no tolerance to any student who is nice to use inappropriate language. No student in each school is allowed to say inappropriate things about a teacher. That's considered verbal abuse. That's my also. That's why also my don't have no time for that to say. There's no excuse. I hate people. I hate kids who badmouth their teachers. It's not going to be a debate. If you hate your teacher so much, you get upset. If you get upset about something, if you decide to bad mouth and hate you, you keep it to yourself. You don't you don't bad mouth someone someone can hear it. So that's why I don't have tolerance for it. We discuss two. Our third one is profanity. No tolerance for people who who use profanity. Who use profanity in any school in any day. Profanity is also an inappropriate language is not allowed. There are ten thousand words in the dictionary. I know someone I know y'all can communicate with the dictionary. So let's go to this article here that from my zero tolerance and someone has broke. Broke yesterday. Then a bathroom stall from a Bob Sterry school district to cancel class on Tuesday, which was today. The area area school district is canceling classes on Tuesday after discovering a throw on a high school on a high school bathroom stall. Official announced Monday night. School officials said they noticed local public immediately. 
and you don't have reason to believe the church credible. Like I would say, every time this is a threat, that's also, I know how to, I don't, I have no tolerance for students who decide to threat a teacher. Or joke around, or joke around threat. I don't take threats in my, in my schools as a joke. In every school I go to, I don't take threats. And offer demands for police action. And let me tell you, we every time, every time we see threats. We see like threats in school. It's all on the news every time. Like, this came in from ABC News four hours ago, from New York. That's why I have zero tolerance policy for threat. I have, I have my own zero tolerance policy for each and every one of these issues. You may sit over here and give me a break, but this is way different than what we're talking about. That's the school spike in New York area after a Portland massacre. Which I do not tolerate any single thing. Can you not go back to the first thing? I don't tolerate anyone who threats a teacher or a student with guns or anything. And I also don't tolerate people who take weapons. I don't, I also don't, I, I'm sorry, I do not take students who bring weapons to school. That is a big no-no. Why do y'all want to bring weapons to school? You want to... Not allow. I'm going to tell you, I don't tolerate threats. I also tolerate bad enough with teachers. And I also tolerate people who win weapons in the school. Knives, guns, switchblades, whatever. And I also don't tolerate people, I don't tolerate, I, my, my, I have zero tolerance for every student who decides to rough house or even fight in school buildings. And I also don't tell my people who post those fights on YouTube. I need test the fights and I will not tolerate those fights. If you're upset about something, you go see your you go see your administrator. Period. You don't take your problems out by someone you hate. Going back to these fights in 2018, go to these fights. This was from two weeks ago. Like, I'm tolerating, I'm tolerating those fights. I need test it while I tolerate You want to set me up and start a fight? 
Another thing, I do not have, also, I do not have tolerance with people who decide to leave school without permission. We'll get to that next. I have no zero, I have, I have, I have zero tolerance for people who decide to skip school or leave school grounds without permission. I'm saying so every school in America is responsible for all students when the time school ends, starts, and the time school ends. Every school is a close campus. No students can leave. No student can leave campus. You want to eat lunch? You eat lunch here. Like I told you before, my, office, my close campus gave me a break. If you don't like the school to lunch, you don't have to be able to sit there and do nothing. Excuse me. We're going back to that. You can't be ditching school. Alright? You're here to get an education. What is the purpose of coming to school? To look good or to get an education? What is that for you? To get an education. You may think somebody may be chilling, but that's more important than school. We are wrong. If you're in school, you're in the learn. If you're in after school activity, that's fine. But you don't take that up. Don't take it up from someone you don't know. And don't be going around saying, Chip, this is more important to me than school. Because I'm going to be like, okay. I do not have time for people who decided to give cops the burger. Zero. You want to flip up a cop and get pulled over? That's your stupidity. Like, that is beyond your stupidity. I do not tolerate that. I never flipped up a cop before. And if I did, if I did, I, I, if I did, I would be arrested. And get pepper spray. And I also don't, I don't tolerate people. Yeah, for a second. And lastly, I don't tolerate. I say I don't tell my people who run in the hallways. If you're in a hurry to class, you walk fast. If you run into something, someone, you walk them, they get hurt, and who's responsible for that? You. You're responsible. Nobody's doing anything. You know, if you're late to class, you walk fast. If you can't get to class on time, it's your fault. Am I bogus? Zero Thomas, I don't know for I do not tolerate school deaths that allow grinding. I don't tolerate grinding. In any school, in any school that is any school, I don't tolerate grinding. Period. And I don't tolerate insubordination. You may have seen my other game against insubordination where I talked about the things that become insubordinate. It means that you're not doing, you're not following directions, and then you're not following directives. And lastly, wait, there are a bunch of zero tunnels I'd like to go to, but we're going to save that for the future. Give me a break. But next.
next we're going to talk about the customers that you see at McDonald's or at any fast food restaurant. Because of one video, that's all on tonight. We're going to talk about that when we come back. So, now that we focus on my zero tolerances, we're going to move on to something else. We're going to talk about the, the types of customers you see at McDonald's. And thanks to Prezi.com, Prezi is going to help us out by showing us nine types of customer, McDonald's customers. Here are the nine personalities and nine customers. The performer, the helper, the achiever, the individualist, the investigator, the loyalist, the enthusiast, the challenger, and the peacemaker. First one is the person who already organized prepare this performer. Second, the person who will let someone else order first. The third is the person suit checking their watch. Four is the person who asks for a water cup and fills it with soda. Five is the people watcher that is the investigator. Number six is the person who checks everything in the bag. Number seven is the person who orders multiple times because, because they get something. Number eight is the yeller. Which, like, meaning that if you, like, they can't even hear the microphone, like, Can I get a 20 piece meat nugget? Something like that. And number nine is the person who always comes in smiling and talks to everyone. Name your favorite one on one category. I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't tolerate this is one of my awesome tolerances. I don't tolerate these. I don't tolerate people who fire restaurants. Because now it's, it's not, not only it's going to be a danger to them, it can also be a danger to everyone else. I am not going to tolerate. Any people who decide to yell at the counter while the person with the microphone in the ear is trying, he's hearing them, hearing a customer what he or she wants. I don't talk like that. There's also this video from Anna Burnett, Burnett who talks about the types of customers at McDonald's, who has a video about it. I don't yell at the restaurant people. I don't. I don't yell at my phone. Yell at something. I don't do whatever it takes to get myself kicked out. All right. Last time for today, we return is going to be all about. Well, that's, that's all the time today. We'll go we'll back for a closer time in a second. On the next, give me a break. Cop people who decide to videotape the police. And also...
Also, students who disrespect their teachers. That's tomorrow. That's that's next. That's tomorrow on your memory. That's all the time we have for today. Until next time, America.